Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. morning dogs and happy hump day. Today we'll hear about the Hooligan Show, yearbooks, student ambassadors, student council, gotcha, daily sports, the Germany-Switzerland trip, recycling, and joining the HGTV team. But for now it's time for weather with Ivan. Good morning Frankfurt High School. Today is going to be high of 79 and a low of 55. It's going to be mostly cloudy and there is a 15% chance of rain. It's currently 62 degrees, at lunch it's going to be 72, and at 3 it's going to be 76, and tonight it's going to be 55 degrees. A uh, big shout out to Crystal Hernandez and Jalen Kidwell for guessing where I am, where I was yesterday. I was at the Indy 500. Now back to the studio. Ivan, everyone make sure to check out the last Hooligans Improv show this Saturday at 7 p.m. The show will include alumni members from the troupe, so don't miss out on the fun. Tickets are $5 at the door. The 2017-2018 yearbooks have arrived. If you ordered one, please stop by the bookstore to pick it up. If you would like to buy one, just bring $45 to the bookstore in cash or check to get your copy. Extra signature pages are available for $2. As added incentive, if you purchase a yearbook or buy one by the end of the day on Friday, you will be entered into a raffle for a free Marco's Pizza for a year. Any incoming sophomores, juniors, and seniors, are you interested in being a student ambassador? And what exactly is a student ambassador? They assist new students and incoming freshmen in the transition to FHS. They act as a mentor for students and promote school spirit and positive culture. They assist in school activities and programs such as freshman kickoff day. Please see Mrs. Debris in the front office for an application. The final student council meeting of the year is today. All members are required to attend. The meeting will be in Mrs. Hale's room during community. All FHS girls, be sure to check out the Gotcha Camp this summer. Gotcha is a girls-only week-long camp where you can experience working on cars, constructing things from wood, and welding metal. The camp is June 18th to the 22nd from 8 to 3 p.m. with lunch provided. Online registration is available. Just check out one of the flyers posted around the school. With any questions, see Mr. Blunt, Mr. Munier, or Mr. Smith. Attention students, there will be a meeting this Thursday evening in Mrs. Woodard room, Woodard's room 139 for the upcoming Germany and Switzerland trip in June 2020. RSVP at Frankfurt Sim Tour by today to attend the meeting. If you'd like to join our HGTV team next year, please pick up a change of course request form and guidance. We have a need for people that want to work with advanced technology or smile on camera. It's now time for sports with Dallas. Hello, hot dogs. Your boy Nick is skipping today, so you're going, you're going to have to bear with me so we can get through this. The JV baseball team fell last night to try west by a score of 10 to, 10 to 0. Four hot dog seniors used their final home match to bring out their best performance of, of their careers to defeat North Montgomery seniors. Senior scores that would have been tested are respectable of 167. Him, Char Chargers 176 scoring came from seniors Simon Weber, Casey Klex, JT Whitlock who first, Riley Wormiski who had the home home season of 49. Frankfurt Hot Dog Varsity took a took a loss on senior night against Trey West night right Tuesday night eleven to zero. Do the Hot Dog Softball Team Varsity travels to Hamilton Heights the, uh, on Wednesday evening. The Lady Hot Dogs track team and ha had many outstanding performances last night, including multiple pers personal bests. Congratulations to Naomi Alanis for, for the regional in the 100 hurdles and possible the three, 300 hurdles as, as well. We will 
get to the 300 hurdles on Wednesday. Thanks for the outstanding se season. For more for more results, check the chatter. Now time for a video to Katie Rhoda. So today we have the privilege of interviewing Miss Katie Rhoda, and she's got a special program uh, that she wants to talk about. So uh, first, tell us what this project is all about, uh, and you, I guess you've been working with Student Council, correctly? Yes. Um, Student Council and I have been working on a recycling program for plastic because so much of our plastic is found in our trash here at FHS. We wanted to give students an easier way to recycle their plastic rather than just pitching it in the garbage. In order to fix this problem, we've bought and designed five new plastic-only recycling bins for both student and staff to use. And I'm assuming this is one of them. This is it. <laughs> so where will these recycling bins be located? There will be at least one of these recycling bins in every academic hallway. And what kind of materials can I throw into this? Uh, plastic bottles, plastic uh, packaging, plastic food wrappers, anything that's plastic goes in these bins. So how can students and staff contribute to the success of this project? Um, we encourage teachers to ask their students to hold on to their plastic before um, until the, pl the passing period and we also ask students to take responsibility of their own plastic use by making sure that their plastic gets into these bins. So what do you hope to achieve by implementing these new recycling bins? What's the overall goal of this? We hope to eliminate all of the plastic found in FHS's trash. However, in order to do so, we need the help of both our students and staff um, in recycling our plastic. These new bins will make it much, much easier for us to develop both a greener school and a greener environment. Okay, well thank you Katie for coming in and like she said guys, let's please pick up this initiative that she's worked so very hard on uh, by throwing all of your plastic in these hallway bins and uh, hopefully we can make a, a greener FHS. Thank you and now back to your hosts. Thanks Colton. There will be a lost and found table set up across from the bookstore today. Please stop by to see if anything is yours. For more valuable items like phones, keys, and jewelry, please ask Mrs. Jameson. The table will be set up until Friday. Starts for Stacy is this Saturday at 9 a.m. Registration papers are available in the bookstore. That's all for the daily announcements. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful Wednesday. This has been a. This dishonest, this dishonest Diego Morales doesn't even live in our district production. <laughs>